he hit the ball so far, Marcos. I mean, a yeah. man's man for sure in the batter's box. All right. So let's go to the Toyota of Hollywood guest line shop. Hundreds of Toyotas indoors in one of America's largest showrooms at Toyota of Hollywood on 441 between Hollywood and Sheridan. Justin Bohr joining us here. And you guys can see Justin this Friday. Flashback Friday is going to be there with Josh Johnson at the ballpark. Justin, what's, uh, what's, uh, what's going on, man? Thanks for joining us. Really appreciate it. Thank you for having me on. Glad to be here. I'm excited to be going out to the field as well here soon. How, uh, has this, is this your first time uh, back, Justin? You had a really great career with the Marlins. Is this your first time getting a chance to go back to the ballpark and, and see the fans? It'll be the first time I've been back. I was there in 19 with or 18 with the Phillies for a brief period. But uh, after that, yeah, this, is, this will be my first time back in Miami. You still you got know, pine tar in your hands for not you know, using I gloves? I was looking at from in the garage. I was thinking if I could get, <laughs> throw a little bit on the bat here. It, 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 it has to be. I mean, there is no indication of how strong a human being is than a guy who bats without gloves. You know, I, I was thinking I should make my own cologne or something like that, some pine tar scented cologne. It just, <laughs> yeah. just reeked on me like for days. We, uh, well, we had, you know, back when I had my, uh, my, Terrible bet with Christian Yelich where I had to eat crow because I doubted him for, uh, you know, his, uh, his home run hitting ability before he ended up becoming a National League MVP. No, I don't yeah. know. Uh, yeah, yeah. It was, a, it, was a, it was a tough look for me there, Justin, back in the day. But he would say, like, your hands uh, after a game were disgusting. He said, I, like, I, 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 c- I couldn't be near Justin Bohr after a game because his hands were so gross. Uh, what, what Could you just describe what would go through? Like, look at those mitts. They're what, clear what, now. What, They're clean. They are, but like, what goes into the process of your of your hands during a game hitting? No batting gloves. The pine tar, the grossness that's there. It depends on the day, to be honest with you, uh, and the place that you're playing at. So you get a little bit of dirt, you get a little bit of that pine tar, you get a little bit of that stick, and it, it, it's a long process. I don't want to take up too much of your time. I get to you have all the time all. in the world. You have all <laughs> the time in the world. All right. So if it's extra humid, then I would prop. I would probably grab um, a little bit of rosin first. Yeah. I throw it on there on the uh, on the rag. Got to dry the hands out. Got yep. to dry them out. Yep. Then I would go with the um, liquid stuff, and then as the stick as well. So, if you were to look at the bat, it would be uh, bare at the bottom. Then the stick would be above it, and then above that would be the uh, liquid pine tar. So, depending on the day, I'm either grabbing from the top or the middle. So. Would would you ever go towards because there's been legends of back in the day of, of bare handed hitters that they would pee on their hands like to, to, to prevent to, to callous the hands. This was known. Uh, this was a legend of the Alou family. Uh, we've, we've wondered. Uh, it was Justin Poor ever a hand peer. Would he ever I'm not, go? I'm not a hand peer. Never have been. Never. never. I never really even got uh, callous to be honest. I was very fortunate. So. No, you're just strong as an ox, and those guys don't need all that extra stuff. Um, I have a question for you. Far away. It when you were in that home run derby. Yep. It had to be incredible, being that that home run derby you had would have probably won every other home run derby except the one you were in, and it was awesome. Yeah. How did it feel? I mean, you like you're like I can't do anything else. Right, I mean, it was that, that, awesome. it it, it kind of just defines baseball for you, right? You can you can do everything right. You can do you can hit the ball right on the screws, and you can line out. But for me, the home run derby, uh, I remember talking to Yelly before it, and he was like, "Hey, you know, you nervous?" I'm like, "No, man, hitting, hitting BP homers, it's 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 kind of what I do. So <laughs> this should be this should be a walk in the park." So, um, but yeah, definitely definitely a top moment in my life was that home run derby, especially how loud it got in that place, man. Oh. Yeah, it had to do it at home. Yeah, it had to be like a gladiator because that's what you do. That's your element. But like you have the the crowd in the palm of your hand, Justin. It must like the the, would you would you rate it Goosey's or Goosey's galore? (laughs) Just incredible. I don't even know the goose scale. (laughs) Don't don't worry. I don't even know the goose scale, so I don't even want (laughs) to. Yes. Um. So coming back and seeing the way this team is is playing. Yeah. Um. It it it's pretty amazing. Is it amazing to you how quickly things can, you know, turn around? Because you bring guys in, and you expect them to do something. Mm-hmm. It's no guarantee they're going to do it. But it seems like this year, every guy they brought in in the last couple of years is doing pretty close to what they were brought in to do. Um, how does that look from, you know, the outside? It's like, oh, they put it together, or these guys are starting to 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 get comfortable. Oh, or is it something that's just a new voice? Well, that is 
none of this stuff really happened overnight. Obviously, it's kind of it kind of shows now. Right. Your people are seeing the product on the field, but you know, you ask any Marlins fan, this has been a a, a long journey for them. They've seen a couple uh, tough years, um, but obviously, right now it's a very exciting time to be a Marlins fan. I've always you know kept tabs, always watched, um, and you know, obviously, Kim's brought in some some great players made some good trades and um, Skip's doing a great job of, of heading the team right now. So it is, it is a good time to be a Marlins fan and um, good to see what they got going on. How do you feel is that process, Justin, of like, they just had a, a series this weekend against the Braves where they got smacked and the Braves have been killing everybody. Braves are but very like, good. Braves are very good. I, yeah. I, I, but like, is there, how do you put that behind you right away? It's just like, it's just one series. We'll get a, maybe we'll get another chance to, to face them in the postseason because Every other every other team, the Marlins are, are working this year. They're the only team that seems to have their number this year is the Braves, even though the Braves are very awesome. How do you not let something like that like uh, dwell on you as a team? That's the great thing about baseball. It's it's the next day. You 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 take it for what it is that day, and you move on to the next day. You know, it's not like other sports where you got to wait a week to play. It's hey, we're hopping on a plane and we're flying out. We got to play tomorrow. So it's easier to move on in baseball than it is in other sports because you play so much. Cause you play so much, you got right. another game coming. There's no chance. There, what's the point of dwelling on it? Cause you gotta, you gotta get five at bats again the next day. Does does the same apply for batting for hitting? Like, oh yeah, when you've struggled, like, oh, man. is it hard to just get out of your way and just go out and play? <laughs> they keep coming, no matter what. It right. doesn't matter how many bad at bats you had, you're gonna get another one. Your spot's coming up, so <laughs> you better you better move on, or, or you're gonna be in trouble. Oh for oh for five can turn into oh for twenty real quick. How is uh how has retirement been, man? You uh you officially did step away this year. Uh, what what has it been like? Well, I got released from a team in Mexico last year, um, and another team was trying to pick me up there, uh, and I just kind of decided like, hey, it's you know, I think it, I feel like every player comes a time where it's like, hey, I know it's time, um, and so I retired, came home. My wife had an opportunity to do a job reporting immediately. So we left our place in Northern Virginia and we moved to Virginia Beach where she started reporting there. Uh, and now we're actually back here in the Northern Virginia, D.C. area. And she's working for um, uh, D.C. News Network. And I'm, I'm full time dadding. So my my work hasn't stopped. It's actually my workload has actually increased since I retired. So <laughs> you probably have like, not you as got... planned either. Yeah, it's not as cool. planned. No, not as planned. Not as much sleep. <laughs> I used to sleep. I don't sleep anymore. There's no you more sleep there. involved with kids. Yeah, you want... Two two professions that can travel, uh, you know, TV reporting and baseball player. Like you guys are gonna be, uh, you guys are, are gonna run all over the world together. I, I'm hoping to set some roots here. We've been we've been moving um, for for a really long time. I haven't been in one place for more than six months for I don't know. I want to say twenty years now. So it, it'll be good to get settled for a little bit. What Did is you that? feel weird with baseball season starting, or Not, are you over it? No, I'm not. I'm not over it. And that and I think a lot of people they go through different yeah stuff. i've been i've been following because i i was overseas i was in japan i was in korea i was in mexico i've been all over the place so mm -hmm. i always kept watching mlb when i got a chance to and um I, I feel like i haven't really left uh per se but um i'm enjoying it it's just it's just um right oh right now i'm finishing up my undergrad degree at george mason and uh figuring out what's next do you uh like when you're traveling the world, like you're going to Korea, Japan, what is uh, the thing that stands out to you about baseball internationally from a after after your, your successful MLB career? Like, what were the things that you're like, man, I can't believe baseball is treated this way around the world? How how good it's gotten, how the good the, the leagues are. Uh, the NPB in Japan is uh, no joke. I mean, obviously, you guys watch the WBC, I'm assuming um, Japan. They got some they got some real talent over there. Um but yeah, I think it's just with how with how good those leagues in, have gotten, how competitive they are. Do those uh, do those other leagues have the unwritten rules? I'm about tired of those. Dif different, different unwritten rules. Different, really? Yeah, of course. Really, because I know when when you're watching Korean or Japanese baseball, they hit a home run. It's a celebration. They enjoy that, and hey, Mexico is even more. <laughs> they'll bat they'll bat flip with the best of them in Mexico. Oh my God! Like, do, you, <laughs> do you have? Do you remember ever angering anybody with a with a real bat flip that like just really got under somebody's skin because they deserved it? I don't think I ever ever got under anybody's skin with a, a bat flip because I, I always was a person who was like, you know, it 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 depends on the moment. If I'm hitting a one run homer, 
uh, there's a hundred people in the stands or, or something like that. I'm not going to bat flip. Um, but if I do, if I, if I had a big home run, I would, you know, give a little extra. It depends on the situation. Well, I, I always said, if, if I was a baseball player mm -hmm. and a pitcher can do hip thrust when he strikes me out, if I hit one 400 feet, you getting my best work. Tip for tap. Yeah. Yeah. You guys can watch uh, Justin Moore this weekend. He's going to be at uh, at Lone Depot Park with Josh Johnson. Flashback Friday coming up for the Philly series here. So you got uh, you know one of the best sluggers, one of the best pitchers there to meet over at the ballpark. Justin, we really appreciate the time, man. Thank you Thanks, so much. Thanks, Justin. Appreciate Thanks for it. having me, guys. All righty. There you go. Justin Moore. Always hey, a delight. still him. like him. Not a hand yep. here, though. Not a hand here. Not a hand <laughs> hey, here. He's wait, of being hey, hand wait a minute. I apologize. Wait, wait, hands are soft, oh, hey, wait he, a minute. They do look soft. They, you they, think? You think with how we do our show and we have guests on that we were a little too like excited about non hand peeing? Because <laughs> no. me, me, no. me and Marcos no. went into full. <laughs> yeah, it was an investigation. He dude. did have beautiful hands. Mitts. Yeah, I mean, man. those are some mitts. 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 Yeah. Holy smokes. If he was a hand peer, he wouldn't have been able to wipe his face down like that. Mm. True. I didn't realize it was that uh, intense of a process. He said he had three layers of grip. Yeah, yeah was, because oh, here, impressive. here, let me explain something. You put the rising on the bag to get the sweat off your hands, right? Wait, yeah, I heard him say that. The the what? Let me the rising. You know the rising bag that the pitchers use on the mound. I just same thing. Bag you man. pat you pat your hands down with the rising, and then you go. Uh, however sticky you need it, you got the the uh, liquid. Or the stick on near the the the, the handle, mm -hmm. and then you got the extra extra sticky stuff down by the barrel. That's the so you see them patting all around trying to get that good feel. But you just you have to be a different level of strong to grip a baseball bat because there's no ridges on the bat. It's smooth. So yeah, not a hand here. Not a hand yep. here, dude.